what's going on guys it's your boy ricky ricardo from unrick trick did boom all right guys so yesterday was january the 7th and yesterday was my one year vegan anniversary i know i know yeah, yeah thank you thank you yeah, yeah thank you thank you thank you yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah thanks guys <laughs> I have to say guys, it's it's been a ride, it's been a journey, but it's been one that I've enjoyed every step. Now, with any journey, you find some hiccups, some bumps, get some scrapes, walls, barriers, obstacles. But let me say this guys, none of the walls, barriers or obstacles was anything nutritional. Like, if I'm 100% honest, it just felt normal. For the first seven days, it was just like in a little adjustment period. But after the first seven days, it was normal. The bumps, scrapes and hiccups was mainly people people that didn't understand people that thought it was a passing fad people that didn't have no faith or belief in me people that wanted to kind of test me people that asked real silly questions real silly silly questions like common sense style questions but before I get to that guys let me talk about the reasons why because a lot of people want to know why so roughly around the 17th of December 2017 I started to have real bad stomach problems like I kind of kept it to myself, but it was it was it was really uncomfortable. I've never been diagnosed with any type of IBS or anything like that, but I do know that I was in pain. Pain. I took some time off over that period anyway. Christmas happened, and it was just not. It wasn't working at all. Like it, I was. Something was wrong, something didn't feel right, guys. Once something's happened for a little bit of time, you kind of get desperate. So I thought to myself, let me just try, see if I can cure it by withdrawing meat and dairy. It wasn't even really I was going for veganism. It was just, let me just take out meat and dairy. So roughly around January the 2nd, I did it. Took meat and dairy out for two days. And the nearly half a month of an issue, it alleviated like that. It just went, boom, boom. And I thought, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that I've been suffering for half a month, nearly half of December, and I eradicate meat and dairy for two days and the issue stopped? That's when I reached out to one of my friends, was, he was vegan for like four or five years, so I kind of just lightly picked his brains on a few things. You know, he didn't even know what I was doing. I kind of picked his brains on a few things. So I ate meat back a couple of days after that. So that was roughly around January the fourth or fifth and I felt like it was the problem starting to creep back so I said you know what I'm gonna do a full week of veganism. So January the 7th 2018 I hit up my friend Lydia Mook I reached out I was like yo Lids need need help I'm thinking about coming vegan for a week and if you don't know who Lydia Mook is it's her she was like, look, calm down. So she took me shopping. She literally hooked me up. She showed me the spots to go, like some of the things to think about, to look at. Yeah, she just literally just helped me out and says, run along little lemming, run and, run and embark on your new journey of veganism. Go forth, go forth into the world of veganism. Go forth. That's exactly what she did. She did exactly that. So I says, I'm gonna do one week. So I bought enough for a week. And I thought, you know what? I kinda, kinda like how I feel right now, I kinda. I kind of look like how I feel right now. I said, let me just go two weeks. Two weeks turned into three weeks. Three weeks turned into a, a month. And here we are, a year and a day, and it feels great. It feels good. It feels good, it feels good. So the hiccups that I had, the problems, the issues, the hiccups, the walls, the barriers, 